Welcome to the world of energy. Did you know there are many types of energy we can use and obtain? One type of energy is called geothermal energy. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What is geothermal energy? Geothermal energy comes from the earth. Don't you know your Greek and Latin roots? Anyways, geothermal energy source is way in the earth's core about 6,437 kilometers, and it is about 4,982 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's hot and deep, I must say. It, in the Earth's core, he continuously flows out. As we know, heat rises. So the heat rises to the surface by the help of magma, aka molten rock. Remember, magma is not lava, it's not lava until it reaches way to the surface, above the crust. So anyway, most of the time, the magma doesn't go up on the surface and remains below the crust. Hot magma heats up the surroundings, surrounding rock and rainwater that has seeped into the earth. Water travels back up through the cracks and most of the most of it stays underground. This is called the geothermal reservoir. Now you're probably wondering where can we find geothermal energy and how? Geothermal energy can be found in hot spots, which occur at plate boundaries or at places where the crust is thin enough to let heat through. But hot spots aren't the only places where geothermal energy can be found. There is a milder heat at depths of anywhere from 10 to a few hundred feet below the surface. Virtually any location on Earth, we use satellite imagery to find out to find out the heat. But remember, these these can locate be located anywhere. Even in your backyard, how cool is that? On actually converting the heat into energy we can use. Here are the three ways we get our awesome energy from good old Mother Nature. One, the dry steam plant, flash steam plant, and binary cycle plant. Did you get that? Probably not. Now you're thinking, what are they and how do they work? Just be patient. Well, the dry steam plant uses geothermal steam directly. Dry steam power plants use very hot, greater than 235 degrees Celsius steam and little water from the geothermal reservoir. The steam goes up directly through the pipe into the turbine to spin a generator that produces electricity. This is the oldest method out there. Next is a flash steam plant, which uses hot water at high pressure to produce steam. The steam moves up the generated turbines and then condenses into water that is injected back into the earth. So it can be used over and over again. Wow, that's interesting and resourceful. No wonder that most of the geothermal plants are flash steam. Now on to the binary plants. It uses the heat from the geothermal water that ch transfers heat into another liquid that boils at a lower temperature. The liquid turns into steam and turns a turbine. Oh, you're here. Well, I guess it's time for more educational stuff on geothermal energy. Because I'm not getting paid to... Uh, never mind. On with the show. Did you know that 0.5%? Yes, I said 0.5%. Five percent of the USA's electricity comes from geothermal electricity. Sad, I know. And we use more geothermal electricity than any other country. The US only has four states that has geothermal plants, and one of them is California, home of the Del Norte Nighthawks. California has 34 geothermal plants power plants, which is produced more than 90% of the U.S.'s geothermal electricity. The U.S. alone produces 2,700 megawatts of electricity from geothermal energy. The benefits of geothermal energy, to heat up water. Do I hear natural hot springs? It's great for the skin, girls. Helps clear it. Also, the water is being reused, so no more fuel price shocks. Ah, the power plant is all reliable. They run 24-7 all year round because the power plant is sitting on top of the source. So Mother Earth is doing all the work. Ha, who knew? It's good for the environment too. So no need to damage rivers or harvesting forests. No oil spills or mining. That's what I call great. But last but not least, it's clean. It doesn't produce smoke. In fact, some of the plants are next to a farm.
Hey, animals. That's great. But, and I mean not so big butt and an not so small butt. But anyway, the geothermal system can be quite pricey, like the design and installations, money, it's costly. We can fix this by investment because over the years the price will go down. Like, new iPod comes out, 200 bucks. A half a year goes by, 150. Another year it goes by, 125. See what I mean? Also, the geothermal plants release carbon dioxide. And, like, I don't mean, like, the plants itself. It's more like the geothermal reservoirs. But there's a small fraction compared to the fossil fuel plants. And we know that they're so bad. My partner and I would rather have geothermal energy than fossil fuels energy because it's great for the environment and the earth is doing most of the work, not the machines. Would you like our futures to have a clean and natural energy? Because, you know, natural is so legit.